Welcome to a new video about drawing and animation. In today's lesson, we are going to draw together and create an animation combining the three basic principles. Remember to activate the subtitles if you need them, and for those who missed the first tutorial about the basic tools, I'll leave the link in the description and at the end of the video. Okay, first, we are going to create a simple background, and to do that, we are going to select the shape tool. Then select the rectangular shape and finally, I am going to choose the white color. Now we just drag to add our rectangle. As we can see in our layers panel, now we have the first layer with our background. You can name it by clicking it, or you can double click it to enter its setting panel and name it from there. Now we will import the image that will serve as a guide to draw. Just click on new layer and then on image. Another way to import an image is by going to File, Import, and then selecting Image. For those who want to work with the same image that I have, here it is in full screen so you can do a screen print. Okay, once you have your image imported, double click it. From here we're going to lower the opacity to 20%. This will allow us to keep it as a guide background and we will draw our entire character over it. So now, let's add a new layer. To do this, go to New Layer and choose Vector Layer. This is where we are going to start drawing, but to be more organized, I'm going to paint the first two. And now the first step before starting. It is important when we are going to start drawing to create a color palette. Whether for cartoons, video games, or movies, we should always have a palette of tones to use as a guide. I am going to leave you in the description of this video a link with color palettes that will be an inspiration for your projects. To do this, we're just going to draw several circles on a new layer, and I'm going to take the colors directly from this image. Remember that to change the colors of each circle, we must first click the Select Shape tool, select the circle, and then select the color we want. Let's repeat this process with every color. Perfect. Okay, now that we have our color palette done, let's draw the base of the face. For this, we will use the Add Point tool, and while we draw, remember to have the Auto Weld option activated and the Shape Corners option deactivated. Remember that with the Transform Points tool, we will be able to adjust each vector. For those who work with Photoshop or Illustrator, the process is very similar. Okay, now we can make a preview of our first layer. It looks great. Later we will adjust more details to make it better, but for now let's just rename this one. Remember that you can activate or deactivate each layer by clicking on the little icon with the eyes. This will allow us to see the guide image on the back. Now, we are going to add a new layer to draw the nose. So, let's repeat the same process using the Add Point tool. In this case, I am going to continue painting each layer that corresponds to the drawing with the same color. Now we can draw the small circle of the nose. Another important detail, for those who are starting with this type of drawings, it is important to keep as few points, or vectors, as possible. Remember, the fewer vectors we have, the cleaner and easier to animate our character will be. We must always be organized and keep everything as simple as possible. As the process is always the same, here I skip a few steps. So now we have the eyebrows, the base of the eyes, and the hair. You can take your time to draw each part. Now, let's stop just a second to check the hair. As we can see, in comparison to our guide image, we have very curved edges. To fix this, first select the vertex, then select the curvature tool, and click the peak option.
For the inner parts of the hair, we can also use the peak tool. That will help us in every area that end with pointed angles. Okay, as you can see here, we have a line that goes through all the hair. For those cases where we don't want such long lines, we can use the hide edge tool and simply hide the ones we don't want. Let's skip a little more to see what's next. Here I already drew the ears, and I used the base of the face to add a neck simply by adding some extra vectors. But don't be scared, you just keep drawing and take your time. Before I continue I'm going to use a darker color for the background. In my case, I prefer to use darker colors that allow me to see the tones of the character more clearly. Let's start working on the mouth. And here we must pay attention, because the process is the same that the one we will use with the eyes. As you can see I have two layers. First, I have a layer called teeth, which contains the upper and lower teeth. The other layer contains the shape of the mouth. But the important thing is that this layer will work as a mask. So, let's activate both layers and select them. Then press right click and select the group with selection option. As you will see, a folder will be created which will contain both layers. I am going to call it mouth and I'm going to give it a different color. Okay, now let's double click on the folder and then go to masking. Here, we are going to select the option hide all. Then click OK. As you can see, now the mouth layer, it works as a mask. Everything looks great but sometimes the edges of the lips are hidden. If that happens, it is very easy to fix. Just double click on the mouth layer, then we go to masking, and here, we must verify that the exclude strokes option is activated. If you want to make this faster, Movo also allows us to control the mask simply by right clicking on each layer. This will help us to work with the masks in a faster and simpler way. Okay, let's practice this method again, but this time with the eyes. As you can see, I have three layers for the eyes. One layer with the white part, another one with the iris, and the last one with the eyelid. In this case, we are not going to touch the eyelid since it is not necessary. Let's just select the two eye layers and select group with selection. Now, let's name the folder and double click it. Again, go to masking, then select hide all and click OK. Now, click the layer with the white part of the eye, double click it, and then go to masking and activate exclude strokes. OK, if you wish, you can activate the stroke to highlight the eyes, but in this case, I'm not going to use it. Let's see how it looks with the eyelids. Perfect. Let's do a test to see the eye movement. As you can see, the white part is working as a mask, just like the mouth works as a mask for the teeth. Okay, we now have the basic shape. Now, we are going to work on the edges with the line width tool. So, to work with the edges, we can simply make this easier by selecting the vertices where we want to increase the size. Always use the preview option to see your progress and see what looks good or what needs to be improved. Just remember, the fewer vectors you have, the simpler your character will be. And of course, it will be easier to be animated later. Always start with simple characters and figures. This is a great tool and it will help us to give our character a better look. Of course, you can use it or not, depending on the style of your characters. Some characters have thicker edges. Some are thinner, and others will have a more varied stroke depending if they are drawn by hand or not. They may even have no borders at all. 
but we will see all that in other videos just to analyze different types of characters and how to draw using digital tablets like Wacom. If you have any questions, or if you want to see me cover anything else in another video, please definitely let me know down in the comment section. Okay, let's see what each part looks like. We have first the base of the face, the base of the neck, the mouth with the teeth organized so that we can move them separately. We also have the nose and its brightness, the dark base of the eyes and the eyebrows, then the eyes, the eyelids, some expression lines, the hair, and finally the ears. But let's do something else to keep practicing. Let's add a new vector layer below the teeth to draw a tongue. We are going to draw the tongue with a line in the middle, so I am going to add one more part to it. Do you remember what we talked about in the previous video about how to add a new section in a closed figure? It is very simple. To do that, we must use the Create Shape tool. Just select the edge of our new shape and then click on the Create Shape button. If you want to remove the mask to see the tongue, simply double click on the tongue layer, select masking, and then click where it says, don't mask this layer. Now you can see the tongue over the mouth. A simpler option is to right click on the layer, and then click on don't mask this layer. Both ways are fine. Perfect, now we have the tongue ready for a perfect smile. Once we're done, we need to reactivate the mask again, so don't forget that step. Okay, and now, let's check everything we saw today. In this tutorial, we learned how to draw a character's head. We learned how to draw a mouth, the eyes, which are now ready to be animated. We learned how to adjust colors, how to work with vectors, how to use masks, how to adjust lines, group objects, and how to organize layers. This was only the first part. In the next video, we will work together creating the final smile animation by adding just a few frames. But mainly we will talk about the three most important principles when it comes to animating and not just in Moho. This applies to any type of animation. We will talk about timing, spacing, and posing. This will help us plan our animations and create much more realistic movements. This will work for animations with bones and also for frame by frame. If you want to review the first class, I will leave the video at the end and the link in the description. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. And for those who are already part of this family, thank you so much for your support and so many incredible messages. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because there's a lot coming up. Now let's practice and I will see you next time.